So this is the English Bay Barge. It floated here uh, in November after a big storm. And some people absolutely love it. So as a marine biologist, I'm curious as to like how we can get this thing off of here. Cause eventually we're gonna need to, right? I'm a swimmer. I love swimming on this beach actually. I love cold water plunging and I normally go right here. And actually previously I used to go right where that barge was sitting. And so if it's going to interrupt my swimming, I'd like to know when it plans on moving. There might not be a coral reef underneath that thing, but there is definitely life. So what's the plan Vancouver? What's, what's happening with this barge? Are we getting rid of it or is it staying or uh, is it here for life? I don't know, Barge. What do you think? Okay, so I just got back from the Barge. I ran out of light. Uh, anyway, so here's the story. Okay, so what we know from this guy is that there's plenty of animals that live in the sand and live underneath the substrate, which you wouldn't necessarily see or consider in a situation like this, but there are, including lots of clams, uh, snails, and worms. So here's my thought. I wonder if I should go back in the morning and actually go swimming, bring my GoPro and see what's underneath that barge. Not like in a dangerous way, just like go check it out. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that in the morning. I'll come back and I'll see you then. Okay. Good morning. <laughs> There's a new activity here this morning. We got that uh, tractor, he's clearing logs. And this is normally my backup swim beach. This is normally my primary swim beach, but I'm gonna swim right there and see if I can get a little closer to the barge. Okay, very cold. And here I am by the barge. Let's see what the barge has in store for us. Let's see what's done. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get any closer to the barge than this. There is security looking at me. The point is I wanted to get in and show you what's down here and see how much life there is. And again, any shell you're seeing, that means that that animal lives nearby. So if you're seeing clam shells, mussel shells, which we are, that means that they live down here. Any animal that doesn't have a shell, it's harder for them to leave a trace, but it doesn't mean that they're not there. I want to go up and get closer to it, but honestly, I'm freezing, so I'm going to call it. This is longer than I normally go in. Should we go in? Oh, all the way? So the plan is to cruise back, take a look at the footage, see what we found, and uh, try to identify some marine life down there, yeah? Always take the garbage you see at the beach. Take that with you. Okay, so I'm back and I'm going through the footage and there's not a whole lot that my camera captured down there, that's for sure, okay? But that's not the point. We saw seaweeds, we saw barnacles, we saw mollusks and amphipods. There were animals down there. And what the representative site that I was able to access is probably very similar to what it looks like underneath the barge. And even deeper, there might even be more, like small fish, maybe even seals might be cruising around there. Birds and other animals would normally use that habitat. The area between the highest tide line and then the lowest tide line is called the intertidal zone. And that is really where there's so much diverse, amazing life in normal circumstances. Of course, we're right by a city. We're right by, you know, a very commonly used beach by lots of locals. For that reason, there's not a whole bunch of life there, but it is still an important habitat for animals that do use it, like the birds and the clams and the worms that live down there. I think the that intertidal area and my swim beach deserves to be freed up again. If you want to know more about uh, BC's amazing intertidal marine life, you can check out these awesome books here that are written by local authors, amazing resources if you want to explore more. And of course, definitely go check out the beach get down there, get in the water. Best way to learn about the ocean is by being in it and being close to it. So, so go exploring, get in that ocean.